that I want to talk to you. So yesterday, right, we had my, we talked about becoming a star, right? This is the, um, kind of the platform, the formula that we go over in the Media Mastery Bootcamp. Right? We're pushing that out to be a three-day live event, a virtual event, um, so that we can stretch it out so that you can do the work, we can have more engagement and experiences um, together, so we're not going to rush through it. But really, the goal is publicity, right? OPP, being featured on other people's platforms, getting the exposure, OPP, right? Getting all of that publicity. How do we do that? We position you as a content expert. What are you brilliant at? What is it that without any preparation you could speak for 30 minutes about? Because you, you've you been living this life. You This is the thing your customers ask you the most about. People want to pick your brain. What are you an expert on? Right? We craft your media story. The why you, right? The who, what, where, right? Why you is the who. The what are your top tips that you give away. You know, what's trending in the marketplace. You know, what matters and what's going on in the world and then what's the big idea. So we craft that media story and then we put it into a pitch, right? We send that media pitch out to the journalist to get you booked on OPP, the, which is your number one document that you need to have for exposure is your media pitch. The second document is your food book, right? It's the book that puts food on the table. It's the book that attracts those perfect audiences and then attracts those perfect clients back to you. It's that 100 page love letter that you um, are putting in front of your clients. We teach you how to get published and with your food book, it's a very specific template, right? A very specific type of book within 90 days. And right now, many of our authors are publishing within 60 days using our CPP, copy, paste, and publish, right? So 60 days from today, right, you can have your published food book, right? And leveraging that to create exposure. Because once you have the food book, right, we do all the publicity. It opens up doors. It's the number one way to get invited as a guest. And so it is don't down, downplay it. Don't dismiss it. Don't dismiss the value of being a published author. It puts you in a whole new category of professionals and um, media experts. And then you all know, like my three day, my three day plan, right, or my three day uh, success story. That this book, from start to published, took three days. Start to published. Now, of course, it was book number nine. Right? Not my first one. I wouldn't do this with my first one. Not my first rodeo. But it became the the education um, foundation for teaching you how to get your book out so that you can create exposure, so that you can attract more leads and make more money, attract more clients, so that you can be the influencer and elevate your credibility in the marketplace and attract more clients. We use it as a tool. Now, I know not everybody who writes a book is using that book as a tool. Like, sometimes it's your heart book, right? It's your story. It's love songs. It's poetry. It's your breakthrough. It's your background, right? That's your heart book. And in many cases, um, you know, we don't make money with our heart book, right? We've got to sell 50,000 copies of our book in order to make it to make it profitable, right? But with our food book, it puts food on the table. It attracts those perfect clients and we leverage that to to make more money and get people into our programs and our services. No matter what your program, what your product is or what your service is, we can develop a food book around that and get that book published within this next 60 to 90 days. But today what I want to talk about is the difference between your ebook and your paperback. Like which one should you publish? Should you just have an ebook or should you actually have a paperback? So I'm going to give you a couple um couple reasons of, you know, benefits of an ebook and benefits of the paperback. Um first of all, with an ebook, right? You can probably publish your ebook today. You probably already have a document sitting in your computer. Maybe um it's a collection of blogs. Uh, a white paper, a report, something you've already created. Maybe it's only 16 pages or 30 pages, right? It's small. And so the nice thing about, you know, those smaller documents is you can go to publish today, right? And put that ebook up. There's a software called Kindle, Kindle Create that you can download onto your computer. You can get it off of Amazon's um, publishing website and download download that right onto your computer 
and you don't have to format it. You don't have to have it margin sized, right? Because it, it, it formats it based on the um, device people are reading their ebook from. Um, it can have color in it. Uh, it doesn't have to be formatted and you only need a front cover and you probably already have the content um, done, written, right? You're just not monetizing it. And so you can start to get that ebook and start to publish your ebooks like today, right now. No minimum, you know, number of pages, right? You can do it with what you have. Um, but why, so if that's so easy and you can get it published, you can be considered a published author and even put it up there for free, right? Just for the exposure and um, the notoriety and the publicity that comes from that. So why do a why do a paperback? It's different holding your book in your hand, right? Right? Holding your book in your hand, right? Having this published document, right? That I poured my my heart, my soul into. Even though it's my food book, it still has heart, right? It still has love, right? That I um, holding this is you're never gonna hold an ebook, right? And I don't care if it's your first book, your ninth book, or your 11th. This is my 11th book. Getting it in the mail and opening up that box and holding my book, it doesn't diminish ever. Like you think, okay, um, you know, you've done it. You've done it over and over again. Like, you know, is it still just as exciting? You betcha. Absolutely it is. And, um, you know, and I think that once you publish your first book, you realize you've gone through the process, right? You've gone through the angst and the anxiety and the and the knowledge of what it takes to become a published author. And I think after that, they start to flow out of you like water, right? Um, especially if it is a food book, right? Especially if you're monetizing and it's creating exposure and publicity. You realize 100 pages is not everything that you know on the subject. I don't want it to be. I want you to have it finished. I want you to have it published. I want you to have it out into the world, not sitting in your desk on your desktop for years and years and years to come, right? With a heart book, I can't say that to you. Just finish it, right? It's it's a part of you and it's a part of your story, and it's a different therapeutic process, right? This is a marketing tool, right? And we leverage it as a marketing tool. And done is better than none. Um, done is better than perfect, right? Baby steps are better than no steps. And so let's get your book out there and let's start monetizing and creating the exposure for it. Um, also with a paperback, people hold on to them, right? They save them. We don't throw them in the garbage like we do we, we do business cards, right? And I promise you, it's far better than an oversized business card. Um, people hold on to them. They value them. Books have they have sentimental value, they have tangible value to them. Um, they might repurpose it, they might pass it along to somebody else, but they're not gonna throw it away. Um, and in many cases, like it sits on their shelf, it's a reminder, and they might be going through their bookshelf. Maybe they packed it up in a box. I got a, I got a keynote speaking opportunity from somebody who had bought my book two years prior. She was moving offices, changed jobs, and she was unpacking her box of books, and my book, came out of that box right at the time that they were looking for their keynote speaker for their big luncheon and their annual luncheon. And they reached out to me and asked if I would do it. She, The book had been sitting in a box for two years, for two years, and yet she pulled it out when she was looking for who was gonna be their keynote speaker at their luncheon. It was an incredible event, and I was invited because I was a published author. It's not gonna happen with an ebook. Right? It's not going to be pulled out of a box and as a reminder. Um, you can also leverage it um, to get speaking opportunities at networking events. Right? When we're back networking events and networking again, you go to an event and you're one of, a, one of an, in the crowd, right? But you all know I want you to speak one to many. If you go to a networking event, you're having one-to-one -one conversations. You might be having a group of three or four, which is pretty fun, right? That's one to many, but most of those conversations you're having one to one. But wouldn't you like to speak to the entire room? Yes, nod your head, say yes, I'd love to speak to the entire room. I'd love for the entire room to know that I'm the author of this book. So bring a couple copies every time you go to a networking event, anytime you go to a, a business association where, where your ideal clients are gathered, right? And donate your book for a door prize as a gift, right? I'd love to donate a couple copies. Um, do you do door prizes? Do you give away? Do you have drawings? Do you have, and even if they don't, 
most of the time they will they're like hey yeah sure we'd love to yeah everybody put your business card in huh right collecting leads right call to action right exposure without a call to action is wasted exposure so now they do a drawing and and they're gonna give away your book to somebody in the audience one of two things typically happens now the host the person with the microphone the one in front of the stage that everybody is looking at, all eyeballs are on, all attention is being paid to, they will say, hey, Angel donated this book. And so we just wanna say thank you to Angel, right? And now all eyes are on Angel, right? They know I'm an author, right? And I'm a media exposure specialist. In fact, I wrote the book on it. And I have the attention of the room. More than likely, they're going to say, Angel, Here's the microphone. Here's the microphone, right? Here's the microphone. Would you like to say a few words? You betcha, right? I now have two minutes to say that my name is Angel Tussie. I'm a media exposure specialist. In fact, I wrote the book on it, ABCs of Exposure. I'm gonna teach you how to attract more clients, elevate your brand, and get booked on ABC, NBC, CBS, and Fox. You can download your complimentary gift at makeyourbigimpact.com or better yet, come and see me and I'll make sure that you get a copy of ABCs of Exposure. How long did that take, right? Less than two minutes, right? I have the microphone. I tell them who I am. I'm a specialist on, in fact, I wrote the book on it and these are the benefits when you work with me. Right? I'm not selling, right? And have you ever thought, well, you know, how do I sell and when do I sell and all of that? Like if you're on a stage, Look, I'm still holding my microphone. If you're on a stage that you cannot sell, right? You're not there selling. It's not an infomercial. It's not an ad. It's not a selling opportunity. Maybe it's because you're on radio, on TV. Maybe you're just, you know, being invited, right? And so, so you can't sell. So you have your opt-in. You send people to where they can get your free gift, your opt-in. But even if you can't sell, they will always let you promote your book. It's the, it's the workaround. Right? They will always let you promote your book, even on TV, without paying for it. Even on radio, without paying for it. You can. T this is your call to action. This is your opt-in, getting people to buy your book. And because it's a food book, oh, dynamic tool here, right? What does it talk about inside of this book? Media Mastery Bootcamp right there right how do they get into media mastery boot camp is talked about inside of the book because that's where i want them to go that's how they become clients right so it tells you exactly how to do it with it all about media mastery boot camp i have a whole page about it and of course all throughout the book i talk about the boot camp why because it's my core offer right? They're already in. They've already opted in. They're already in my sales funnel. They, they've bought my book, right? So they're, now I'm creating engagement and I'm getting them to fall in love with me. And the book becomes this 100 page love letter or my follow-up process, my sales process, not as an, as an infomercial, you're giving value, educating them, but the whole time they're falling in love with you. And it would be rude. It would be rude of you to not give an opportunity to how to get more information and to work with you even further. I think sometimes we think, well, I don't wanna sell, I don't wanna pitch, I don't wanna capitalize on this, right? But it would be rude of you to get up in front and give them a book and not give them a way that they can play with you even more, right? Play in your sandbox, play in your castle. And so that's the benefit of the food book. So paperback versus ebook. If you're gonna do an ebook, you might as well push that baby up, add some stories, um, do some interviews, some case studies, um, add some quotes, you know, interview other people, some DIYs, some checklists, some exercises, right? You might as well push it up to those 100 pages and publish that book and create the actual paperback version of your book and allow it to open up all those fabulous doors for you. So that was my juicy little tip for today. All week long, we are talking about how to get exposure for your book. Last week, we talked about how to get exposure for your online events. And how many of you, where's my Dawn? How many of you know they are the same thing, right? Exposure, exposure, exposure. But leveraging your food book, right? To create publicity, right? The food book, when you, publicity comes 
when you are positioned as the expert, when you've got a story, a media story that is current, critical, and compelling, right? Craft it into a nice little document called a media pitch, right? Also, hand in hand, right? You've got your media pitch and your food book, right? One hand your media pitch, the other hand your food book, right? And it brings it all back together and ties it into publicity. This is what we cover when we do the Media Mastery Bootcamp, right? All three pieces position you as that content expert, help you to become a published author of your food book, and to create the publicity, the press releases, and all the promo around getting you unlimited exposure. So if you want to impact hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands, all from the comfort of your own home, Right? You don't even have to leave your home. For two years, we have been teaching you how to build your business and to create this exposure from home. And we were doing it for time management, right? All for time management. Now we're doing it for other reasons, right? To stay safe and to stay healthy and to do our part. So this is the benefit of our Media Mastery Bootcamp and the Make Your Big Impact movement. We want you to get more exposure. We want you to attract leads. We want you to be featured on radio, television, magazines, podcasts, summits, all of that. And you can do that every single day. Two media exposure all elements, right? Two platforms, two OPP from anywhere you are in the world. So no more hustling, no more grinding, no more one-on-one, -on -one, right? Building your business one-to-one. -one. You're building your business one-to-many. Um, you're leveraging, creating that digital lifestyle, multiple streams of revenue, and we're so excited to do that with you at our Media Mastery Bootcamp. I can't wait to see you. If you haven't yet downloaded your complimentary guide at makeyourbigimpact.com, how to transform your media exposure, grab that at makeyourbigimpact.com. Plug into our Facebook group and make sure that you are at the next Media Mastery Bootcamp. We can't wait to see you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.